to the music by our special of the children's story. Yeah, okay. Well, he wasn't here. <laughs> that was good. Oh, cool. Now <laughs> I step on a stick. 
You know what a stick does when you step on it? Right, that bear, as soon as I stepped on it, heard it. Turned around and looked right at me, and I stopped. So bears had bad eyesight, so I didn't move. And I'm thinking, man, that's a really big bear. You know how fast a bear can run? How fast? They can run up to 30 miles an hour. Do you know how fast I can run? <laughs> when being chased by a bear, I can run about 35. No, that's not true. I'm lucky if I can get 20 miles an hour. Okay, so who's going to run faster, me or the bear? So I stopped, and I just stood there, and the bear looks at me, and we just kind of looked at each other for what seemed like a really long time. <laughs> then he looked down and kept munching on whatever he was munching on, looked at the other tiny little bear, and started walking towards it, which was a really good thing. And I turned around, and I ran. <laughs> and I mean ran. I'm going to show you a couple other pictures. <laughs> Do you know what that is? That was a waterfall that I was trying to get to before the bear interrupted my journey. Okay, is that pretty? Okay. It's pretty pretty? What's your mom tell you? Hold on, hold on. What's your mom tell you? That's what I want to know. How did the bear get in the house? How's that? You can swim in this pool right here where the waterfall comes down. The water's really cold, though. Uh, let me find this for you. Okay. Do you know what that is? No, it's not a bear. What is that? That's something that the bear was actually wanting to eat, and that's why I saw the bear. You know what that is? That is a pig. Yes, that, no, I should have learned. I should have known. I saw the pig, and the pig was dead. There was another one next to it that was dead and half eaten. So I'm thinking, well, I know hunters don't do that. <laughs> so I went into the woods right where the pigs were, and that's where I saw the bear. So luckily, the bear had eaten half of this thing, so he was full and wasn't really interested in me. <laughs> but listen, there's going to come a day when God is going to recreate this earth all over again. Bears, uh, mountain lions, uh, wolves, any animal that we're afraid of now, that when he makes again, we won't have to be. Can you imagine petting a lion? Can you imagine riding on the back of a bear? Yeah. Jesus has promised us that there will come a day when he'll make all things new and that there'll be no more pain, suffering. There'll be no animals that want to hurt you. You won't want to hurt them. Don't you want to be in that kind of world? Yeah. Listen, let me ask you a question. If there was any animal that you could have as your pet, what would it be? Giraffe. Giraffe. I love giraffes. What did you say? A ferret. I want, I want a big lion. I mean, a really big lion. A dog? Okay. I right, would listen. I want a wolf and a puma. A wolf and a puma. Another time I was out on my motorcycle, and this was a different trail on a different mountain, and I had a mountain lion, which is just like a puma, run out in front of me. Now you think I'd stop riding on these trails. <laughs> but one day we're going to be able to see these things and not have to be afraid of them. A puma's like a mountain lion. It's a, it's a big cat. Okay? Listen, you guys are really good. I appreciate that. You can go back to your seats now. Look at you.